You know I was talking about Pokemon? Ghost type got better in Gen 3 because there were more to choose from. Gen 2 added like one extra ghost Pokemon. Hmm. Alright, how many Gastlys can you guys honestly have? There's just so many Gastlys. The Gastlys will not end. In Oberdin, where did the chest originally come from? I have no idea. I don't think that was ever explained. I think they just were like, we got it. And the mermaids were like, uh uh. Bye! Bye! I'm a bubble bounce your ass. Try and hit me. Suck up your whole life. Ghastly evolution line only ghost type in Gen 1, so these ghost loving ladies don't have a choice. <gasps> That's a good point. So, are these women like possessed by the ghastlies? Or what? What's the deal? Bouncy bubble. Good thing I like leveled up in that cave for a bit, otherwise I'd be boned. The Gastlys get bored and possess the trainers so they can do po Pokemon battles. That's fair. Foamy the Jinrich. So are ghost Pokemon the only type or ghosts in the universe? I. Hmm. That's a good question. Thundershock could do it. They're their channeler so they can express the rage in the tower over the Team Rocket's interference. The ghost Pokemon are the physical manifestation of that rage against a holy place. Whoa. That's hardcore. You might be able to trade for Alolan Marowak, which is part ghost type. Oh yeah, Lola and M Marowak is fucking hardcore looking. Okay, let's see. Awakening on my war turtle. And we need to put some super potions. Let's change out Pikachu for Eevee. Ooh, Ultra Balls. I'll give you some Ultra Balls. <gasps> Cutscene. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh jeez. Begun intruder. AG is trembling in fear. It won't let you take another step forward. <laughs> if 
It's okay! AJ is in good humor. It can't contain its laughter. I didn't comfort you enough, Evie. I'm so sorry. You've been comforted. Alright. Be gone, intruders! AJ looks like has a present for you. Aww, Stardust. <gasps> no, I'm sorry. Are you okay now? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing here. I need to get- oh. I need to get a self-scope. You guys could have told me this a while ago, man! Oh, maybe I should just let the ghost get me. If, like, that's how you get- nope. You got me! Oh, you have to encounter the big ghost first? That makes sense. Alright, guys. Let me just shove food in my mouth real quick, I'm sorry! Center. Oh, you can hear it? I was trying to move my face away from the microphone. I kind of forgot to eat today. <laughs> I was like too busy doing all this stuff because it just snowed and everything's like super gross and I had to like do stuff with my car and everything. And I was like, oh shit, I didn't eat, but I have to stream too. Crap, 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 crap. We came all the way to Lavender Town on the boss's orders, but where in the world is this old man Fuji supposed to be? The only place left is that spooky old Pokemon Tower, right? Right. We couldn't get to the top because of that strange ghost getting in the way. <laughs> we couldn't find that old man, but at least we found this Cubone. Let's get it back to our hideout. At least we'll have something to show off our trouble. Right, let's head to the Rocket Game Corner in Skeleton City. <coughs> oh, does the little Cubone want its mommy? Your mommy's in Skeleton City. Come with us, we'll take you there. <coughs> ma, ma! This is the saddest story in the entire world. <coughs> I just want... I'm, I'll be your mommy. I just saw something awful. What did you see, dude? Hey, did you see? Team Rocket abducted that poor Cubone. It sounded like they were headed to Celadon City, but they must be planning on taking the skull bone it wears and selling it at higher price? Huh? What? They just take Cubone's mom skulls? That ain't right. I 
can't ever forgive Team Rocket. Right now, we're taking care of a Kubone whose mother, Marowak, was... She was caught by Team Rocket, that was it. We never saw her again. Wait, wait, hold on. So if Cubone's mom was a Marowak, and Marowak is an evolution of Cubone, does that mean that when a Marowak gives birth, it has to die? And that the entire fate of Cubones is just to always suffer? Isn't the skull it wears its... Wait, so if a Cubone... If a Marowak is an evolution of a Cubone and a Marowak is wearing the skull of its mom and then... But it gives birth to Cubones. Does that mean that... Wait. <laughs> wait, hold on. So, like, literally, they evolve to just be sad over their mom's skull. Like, it gives birth to the baby, and then it immediately dies? What's the logic? Be sure to name your Pokemon with love when you give them a new name. After all, nobody wants to have a silly name. Well, time to go save that Cubone. Hey, Doki Alibi said, I got, it got all crazy when breeding became a thing because Cubones just hatched with its mother's skull and everyone who learned the lore was just like, oh no. See that shit? That was wild! Oh, thank you for the bits, BB Spectacular! Damn, you guys are really hitting it hard today. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for all the uh, bits today. I really appreciate it. Let's put Mac in front. You know, just to make sure the gameplay stays top notch. You guys don't get bored. Oh, fuck, it's a nerd. You look good at Pokemon, but how's your chemistry grade? <laughs> chemistry grades are important. Studying is important. He's right. <laughs> Tag yourself. I'm super nerd. He's where he's holding like a <laughs> Oh, I kind of feel bad for Super Nerd. Why is he so nerdy? <laughs> Let's see. Psybeam. I feel bad for beating- I feel like a bully, like I'm beating up a nerd in real life. Oh, meltdown! He's crying, guys. I just beat up a nerd and he's crying and I feel real bad about it. Why does he have to cry? Stop crying! 
He holds the notebook to cover up his shame boners. <laughs> You should be informed. You need strategy to win at this. No, I don't. I just need to blast your ass. With fucking Psybeam. You are challenged by Rocker Je Glenn. Oh god. This guy looks annoying. He sent out Jolteon. Okay, but to be fair, you did pick an appropriate Pokemon. If you're gonna be a rock star. Yeah, Jolteon's pretty much hardcore. Oh, I gave my now Alakazam a ton of tough candy or whatever it is that raises its defense because you know how psychic Pokemon are weak little biggie babies. So I thought it would be a good idea to just... I kind of like the new candy system where you turn in the Pokemon and you get candies because now... My psychic Pokemon is physically able to withstand getting kicked. Nothing says rock like a tucked in shirt and center parting. You're right, Lemon Z. You just blasted that dude. Shiny coughing fart cotton candy. Oh, does shiny coughing look like cotton candy? Coughing? Interstellar Zap Zap whatever says coughing are cute and they don't get the recognition they deserve for being cuties. Honestly, all Pokemon are cute except for Mr. Mime. All Pokemon are v are valid and cute except for Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime is not okay. All right, I don't like him. He shouldn't be around. Oh, thank you for hosting me, Calum Love Life. All Pokemon are valid, except for Mr. Mine. Jinx? Jinx is valid. But only post after they made it so that she wasn't, like, looked like blackface anymore. Any biker or super nerd who owns a coughing is using it to cover up the smell of his meth lab. Oh, Laser Mike, how dare you tell the truth? Yeah, Jinx is cool once they change the skin tone. They didn't know. I mean, Japan is notoriously racist, so I don't know what to say. It's the truth. Hey, are you two lesbians? What's up? Meowth is so cute. Meow, meow, meow. God, you're one of those people. You are challenged by Lass Andrea. Oh my god, here's Meowth. Isn't he so cute? Dude, I'm about to like destroy your mouth, Meowth, and you're gonna be so sad. Did you just honestly do that to me? Ooh, Nightshade doesn't affect Meowth. Power move. Girl, I just destroyed your cat. How's it feel that now I just ravaged your pussy? <laughs> I'm disgusting. Girl, I am going to destroy that pussy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, she's 11. Never mind, never mind. Never mind. I thought she was like, you know, 18 or something. I don't know. I don't know! This is Pokemon, you never know! I'll only sexually harass the beauties. No, guys, seriously, no, pedophilia, pedophilia is no joke. 
Nah, -uh. I, I, I don't fuck with that. I don't fuck with that shit. You know when YouTubers are like, "Well, they came on to me," and I'm like, "They're 12, dude. Don't like, don't even, don't do it." <laughs> when people send me nudes, I'm like, first of all, you have to be at least 23 to send me a nude, and I'm not going to reply with anything. I just say, "Thank you for the picture. It's beautiful. Thank you for sharing your beauty with me." And Keep it that nobody, uh, no children for me, thank you. No way. Oh, thanks for being here, Ditches Emily, where I accidentally hit on a cartoon character girl. We're showing off our Pokemon, do you want to try? Jesse and James are meant to be 15 in the first Pokemon season, but they're 25 canonically. They're 25 as of the second movie, and good for them. Got you. Bitch, I just bend a spoon at you. What are you gonna do? Oh, fuck off. So what I did with this uh, Alakazam is that I raised its speed and its... I raised its speed and its defense so I can just totally like nobody touches me. Ash is a time lord. School is a thing, but I guess some people are just like, fuck school. Go out in the world and learn how to be a thing. So my headcanon for Pokemon is that when you turn 11 or 13 or whatever, you basically go on a pilgrimage to figure out what it is you want to do. So that's why whenever you go to labs and like different weird places, everyone just goes, come on in, little kid. Oh. Come on in, little kid. Like, we're gonna explain to you everything I do. I'm a farmer, I'm a Pokemon trainer, I'm a rock star. Like, these are all things. So that when you're like 11, you go on this pilgrimage around the world to truly see... Oh. To truly see what it... To truly see what it is you want to do. And after that pilgrimage, you can decide do you still want to be a, a Pokemon trainer? Or do you want to be like a grass person, or do you want to be a scientist? And after that, you can choose to go back to school or not, you know? That's my, like, headcanon. That's why they let you do it. Because everyone's constantly telling you everything about themselves. It's because of being like, hey, I'm a scientist, this is what you do. Hey, I'm a farmer, this is what you do as a farmer. Hey, I'm this. So then once that year is over, you can either continue to be a trainer, or you can be like, I want to go to school for being a farmer, or I want to go to school for being a scientist. <laughs> yeah, grass person. That's my headcanon for the thing. And that's why everyone's so down with like, oh, you're 11 years old, I guess it's time for you to just fuck off for a while. Here's some money. Like, that's the way the culture works. If that makes sense. Look at this nerd off in the corner, awkwardly standing away from these two cuties. Like, I don't know what to do. School is fun, but so are Pokemon. See, this guy, he's, he's gone on his journey, and he's decided that his passion is chemistry or whatever the fuck. But he also still loves Pokemon, you know? Okay, guys, I'm gonna be a channeler, says Dokiyabi. Yeah, exactly. Or you starve to death in the wild because you have no survival skills. Wait, Bisect de Brio says their headcanon is uh, you can, something you can do instead of middle school, so you can learn th through that. Honestly, if you had a choice between middle school and going on a cool adventure, why the fuck would you choose middle school?
harmless toast is my headcanon is that most people go out on these Pokemon journeys just but just aren't very good at training Pokemon. That's why they only use a couple use a couple Rattatas or Pikachu because that's all they can train. Even gym leaders are just people who are really good with a specific type. But the player is a natural Poke genius who can train any type of Pokemon, which is how they beat the Elite Four at age ten. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> I'm on guard duty. I take my duty very seriously. But gee, am I ever thirsty? I wish I had some tea to drink. Hold on there, kid. I'm afraid I can't let you pass through here unless you bribe me with tea. There's something over here that he liked. Oh, wait, you're a girl. Mac is smelling the scent of the grass. Good for you. Underground path. To Lavender Town. Okay. I hear there's been a sleeping Pokemon causing trouble out near Saladin City. Alright, Eevee, tell me where the stuff is. It's cry echo through the underground path. Max seems to be having fun. Aww. What? Ah. Yes, there it is. Back, I would die for you. <laughs> Ooh, a hyper potion. All right, that's enough of that. It's easier to find hidden items if you don't have a Pokemon out. Yeah, but I want to have my Pokemon out, so, you know. Ooh, a nugget! Oh, wait, this is the, this is the town with the uh, shopping mall, isn't it? I'm hyped about that. Oh, happy birthday, Foamy at the Foamy the Gingerbread. Chicken nugget, yeah. Hey girl, what's up? Do you go Do you go often? Oh, you know what I mean. The department store in Sullivan City? There's all kinds of things. It's very handy. Yeah, I'm so excited to go shopping. This is where you also get another Eevee. I remember this is the city where they give you an Eevee. And we also have like this weird meta place where they talk- <gasps> What? What's that? <laughs> Mac found something in the plants. Oh, good for you, Mac. What the fuck? There's Kadabras over here? I didn't even- I didn't even have to level shit up? This is bullshit. The secret game freak office. Yeah, I always like that place.
I'm gonna get a Thunderstone and uh, evolve my Pikachu into a Raichu for sure. Psybeam your ass. Think that's gonna stop my psychic bombardment? <laughs> Think again, dork. You want her coat? Yeah, it is a good coat. It's a nice, snazzy coat. By the way, guys, I just got a cape for a coat this winter because I was feeling that aesthetic. You know, because you never think you're like, God, I wish I could wear a cape. And you know what? I'm an adult and nothing is stopping me. I'm getting a cape coat. I got it off Etsy. It's really nice. It's kind of expensive, though. Doug Trio! There's three peepees here. Uh, pedal dance. I can't evolve the EV. I can't evolve the default EV. It's unable to evolve. This game needs some capes, but Mario, you gotta post a video of you swishing your cape. You know what? That's a valid uh, thing to say. Oh yeah, pedal dance does make you get tired. But if you get the Eevee from the dude in the town, could you evolve that one? Yes, I could. Alright, I'm gonna go grab some of these dudes. Come here. Fuck you, Vulpix. Oh my god, I hate the controls for this. I... <sighs> Fuck this. Okay, so if you have it in handheld mode, it's so much easier to catch Pokemon. But if you have it in docked mode, you're, you're, it's just like, who even knows what's gonna happen? There's just no way of knowing. <laughs> Yeah, Vulpix is owning you. Hi, Froman4000. I'm gonna ignore that guy for right now because I want to go shopping. It's time to go shopping because I want to get a thunderstone for my Pikachu. Alright, I found the best way to throw the Pokeballs to hold the Joy-Con straight forward when you press A and then just flick it straight up to throw a straight ahead or horizontally left or right to throw anywhere at that side. It works surprisingly well. I try doing that and it just like doesn't do it. It really it's Yeah, it just I don't know what's I it's, maybe I'm just terrible. What do you think you're doing running around here? We're team rocket, don't you know? Yeah, I know. So dude, I know. Poly roll, you're looking really crazy. Oh, Poly Rath, sorry. Hey, I didn't expect to run into you here. Um, I'm trying to go shopping, Brock, not have a conversation. I'm on my way back from visiting Celadon City's gym. 
Keeping in touch with our d other gym leaders is part of our duties, after all. The girls at the gym all turned me away for some reason, though. <laughs> Actually have some pewter crunchies. What? Actually have some pewter crunchies. I brought them as a gift to this gym here. You're probably going to want some tea after eating them. Peter Crunchies can make you thirsty. Oh, thanks, Brock. Mmm. I don't have enough luck to give to that thirsty guard now. Anyway, it looks like you've been visiting the gyms in other cities. I wish you the best! Is this the shopping mall? What is this? Being surrounded by be my beloved Pokemon while enjoying some rest and a nice cup of tea. Moments like these mean the most to me. Is this the mall? I don't understand. This is an apartment building. I want to go shopping. Oh, mall's next door. Okay. Yes! Time to get a thunderstorm! Game Freak always puts themselves in the games. Just Game Freak make it- Oh, look! Little Nintendo Switches! Sweet! This kid said he, he'll trade me a Genghis Khan for my Haunter. Come to me, my new Haunter. I absolutely love Haunter. I collect them. Huh? Haunter evolved into a different Pokemon while I was being traded? I need to go use the restroom, but here comes another guest. The new guy who's supposed to take over from me, my shift is running late. Here, take this. If I have to, if I have to skedaddle, maybe it can inspire you to cover for me. Oh, helping hand. Oh, wow! Look at all these Nintendo Switches on sale, and they're selling Pokemon Go. Wow! A sports game. I bet Dad would like that. So we do have a dad. Pokemon that evolve when you use evolution stones on them. <laughs> Looks like your Eevee wants to stick with you just the way it is. I like how Eevee's like, don't you fucking dare. Do not. Welcome, may I help you? <gasps> Thunderstone! Ice stone? I'm gonna pick one of those up. No thanks. Time to evolve my Pikachu. Oh, thank you for hosting me, Esc Escope Twelve. No, you guys are weird. I tried to evolve my Eevee, and it was not happy with me. See, that's what happens. Was it in the medicine's pocket? Candy jar? Eevee candy. Here, Eevee, eat this. Wow! Um, where... 
in a power up pocket. Congratulations, your Roby evolved into Raichu! Water and Firestone evolve Mo and War Totus. Yes, but I can just level them up normally and they'll, and they'll uh, evolve, so I don't need to do that right now. When electricity builds up inside its body, it becomes feisty. It also glows in the dark. Oh, cool. Forget an old move. Hell yeah. Thunder Punch is on hardcore. Let's go pick up some tea. Where are we now? Can we buy clothes here? Hold on. Um, yeah, I want to buy everything. Hold on. Wait a second. What? Hold on. I need to get bow ties and flowers. Flowers. Oh, God. What do, I don't even, okay. Let's see. Pale blue flowers, yeah. And I need a bow tie. Fan, fancy bows. Okay. Fancy frilly bow, yeah. Yes, 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 yes. My God, AJ has a big grin on its face. Oh, my God! <laughs> yeah, I'm going to spend all of my money now. Hold on. I need to get the crown. Wait, how do I get the crown? Give me the crown, lady! Special. Oh! That's so much money. <laughs> Still need to eat and feed your Pokemon. <laughs> Someone stop her. What? What is this? Okay, we need to get more flowers. A lot of flowers. Flowers. Just a whole lot of flowers. Just green flowers. Purple flowers go with the blue ones.
Hold on. Gotta take the hat off. Yes. 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 Nope. Eva. 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 Finally. Finally. This was a mistake. AG seems to be curious about the vending machine. Uh, fresh water. Luigi seems happy that it got to drink the fresh water. What? I want some for me. There goes all my money. I'm thirsty. I want something to drink from the vending machine. Give her a drink? Yes. You can have a lemonade. Yay! Lemonade! Thank you. You can have this from me. Oh! Okay. Sure. I wasn't expecting anything in return, but... My sister's a trainer, believe it or not. But she's so selfish that it drives me nuts. Whoopee! I don't want to give her more drinks. I want to do what I want to do. May as well just say fart. <laughs> Handmade Pokemon accessories. Go take a look at the fifth floor in the department store. I should be able. Look at it. Look at them. Covered in flowers. So perfect. Those old guys creep me out. Oh, here's the game corner. Let's gamble a little. Sometimes I, I sometimes see suspicious looking people in this game corner. I wonder what they're up to. Oh, I found stuff. Why can't I play? I used to be able to play. Oh wait, do I have to, um... We've run out of game coins, so please don't touch the walls in the game corner without permission. What? There, come on, almost got it. Oh, so close. Come on, Jesse, why don't we head over to hide out now? Oh, come on, we've already handed over the cube onto another Team Rocket member. What's the harm in taking a little break? How are we supposed to open the hidden entrance to the hideout anyway? We just need to check the poster with a vehicle on it, remember? It's a poster with a vehicle that's the best way to rep represent us. I want to play. Ugh, I broke my high score. If only every day were like this. I'm guarding this poster. Go away or else. Oh, oh, we're fighting. Okay.
Alright, Mac, blast their ass. It blasted him. At this rate, the location of the Team Rocket Hydro is going to be discovered! I better tell the boss. Hi, I'm Eleven. Hey, the switch by the poster. Let's push it. You hear a loud echo from somewhere on this floor. Is everyone healed? Yeah. I guess we just head in. Alright, this is the Team Rocket hideout, but it's time to end the stream. I'll see you guys on Wednesday.